Actually, Ant Man comes out actually tomorrow, right? Midnight. Yeah, yeah but they yeah. well, some some spots have been doing seven o'clock. Yeah. Oh yeah, um, mo yeah. If you go to like Elizabeth, you can get into an eleven o'clock show for the movies that that come out midnight, which yeah. is pretty cool. Which is pretty yeah. cool to me. That sounds the good. The one to by me. me, they they got it at seven, but I'm probably gonna go this weekend. Okay, welcome back, guys, week. to the next segment in our podcast. We will be talking about some of the leaked trailers, and now that most of them are live up on YouTube, like the official ones, of uh, San Diego Comic Con's um, comic book movies that will be, you know, featuring in the next, you know, couple of months or a few years. So apparently, we've seen um, the the TV attraction of Ant Man, which comes out officially tomorrow in theaters. If you guys want to check that out. We've also seen leaked footage of uh, Suicide Squad, uh, Batman vs. Superman, their new movie, and Deadpool, which is actually shaping up to be pretty good from what I'm seeing. So I will go last because I really didn't watch too much on it. I just heard a lot of things. So we will start off with uh, NGO Shinwar, and I guess you can give us what reactions you've seen from the trailers and what can we expect from the movies. Uh, all right. Well, for the Batman versus Superman, uh, for the new trailer they dropped, it was cool. Uh, really just showed, you know, why why they're fighting. And uh, I'm not a big Superman fan, so the first movie was eh, it really didn't do anything. But I like I like Superman when he really cuts loose. Um, so this whole premise is, you know, they're trying to paint him as a savior, and Lex Luthor gets involved. And I even heard like. With this Lex Luthor, Luther, mm -hmm. uh, Jesse Einberg is playing. Um, he's supposed to like, he got his wealth from doing social media. So he's not even that Lex Luthor that we know and love who, you know, at the peak of his game, he's running everything. This guy's really still on the come up with his own business. But basically, you know, just I, I see uh, Bruce Wayne's point of view of of you know this this alien coming to this planet and you know they had this fight blah 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 um a couple people are upset that they introduced kryptonite so fast uh, in the trailer you see the rock the kryptonite rock with lex luther in front of it but the fans went bananas for it um it, it's gonna do numbers there's no no doubt about it um but i i don't know i don't know the trailer was okay the trailer was cool but i hope the movie doesn't bomb I think honestly they're throwing in way too many characters. You got Wonder Woman and and honestly, that's the chick from Fast and Furious. I hope her performance is well, but her body type does not fit Wonder Woman. I'm mm. sorry. It doesn't. You're right. I agree. Yeah, the the body type she looks too skinny. But if her performance is well, then hey, more props to her. Um I don't know if you were just touching on Batman vs. Superman or the other trailers as well, all in one suit. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can discuss oh. about all okay, of them. Okay, yeah, real quick. So, uh, Suicide Squad, uh, the panel at uh, Comic-Con was, was bananas. Um, yo, Harley Quinn, I think, uh, what's her name? What's her name? Margot something, whatever. I think she's going to kill Harley Quinn. I think it's going to be real good. Uh, the Joker, I'm still on the fence about with the grill and the tattoos, but... Hey, you gotta have something different, but Suicide Squad, I think it's gonna be a sleeper hit. I think that's gonna be a sleeper hit. Um, what else? What else was there? Deadpool. Deadpool, I thought, was good. Um, I just hope it's not completely slapstick. You know what I'm saying? Like, I hope the plot is solid, but, eh, we'll see. Now, I'm gonna end off my part with X-Men Apocalypse. Mm. Today, they released pictures of apocalypse and the mm -hmm. internet is on a frenzy saying he looks like grimace from mcdonald's <laughs> they said he looks like ivan Ooze from the 1995 power Rangers movie and when i saw it i did not like it it was too much purple he looks ridiculous uh psylocke her they gave her the the the, the purple costume and Storm was looking okay, but that apocalypse, I hope they CG some of it because right now he looks stupid. Well, I think they're going to CG. I think they're going to CG it mm -hmm. from a. Uh, uh, no, you go ahead and finish it. Uh, no, uh, I'm done. I'm, I'm, right. I'm done. I'm done. I'm um, done. From a comic book character to a real life adaptation. Okay? Mm hmm. 
I, I don't think you can design a better looking uh, apocalypse. I, I would love to see some cosplayers challenge the, the. I would love to see some cosplayers challenge the design that they have put together for the character because I've seen the pictures. But hold on, Goken, Goken, you gotta admit, they look like cosplayers. <laughs> yeah, and, and you, you know what? Um, he, he looks like he's out of a fucking fantasy movie, like some evil sorcerer. Yeah, I, does it look I, like the apocalypse? I know. Then again, I only watched the cartoon on yeah. was Channel Five years ago. Yeah, I, I, where's where's a, his body armor? Where's his exos? Come on now. It's a it's it, I, again. I think it's tough. I, again, until someone can show me mm -hmm. that they can they can put together a better uh, designed costume for a real life adaptation of Apocalypse. Mm -hmm. I, I I will go I will go against what you uh, you know what you say about him. Okay, but, but, but go get, go get. Why is he purple? Why is he purple? Like you like grimace. He's <laughs> like, like a bluish. Like blue. <laughs> no, nah, dude, that's uh, purple, man. Nah, he's, like Ivan Ooze, uh, brother. He, he's, 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 he's a lot of purple. He's, he's a lot grimace of after gastric bypass. Dude, <laughs> <I'm> just, <laughs> but so, again, though, from the screenshot, from the screenshot, okay. So mm -hmm. so from what I'm seeing, okay, I see a couple of different pictures, okay. There's one with Magneto and Psylocke, mm -hmm. and he 100% he looks blue, okay. And then what? there's some, and there's another picture with Psylocke and Storm, and Apocalypse in the middle of them with his you know little dreads or whatever hanging out, and he looks purple. So uh, they may change the color towards the movie. They uh, it's obviously like some type of CG costume, so I think they'll be able to change the color of the costume. Right from the picture that I see right here. Psylocke is in purple, Apocalypse is blue. Nah, wait, is that the one where it's her, Storm, yeah, her, Storm, and Apocalypse? Her, yeah, her, Storm, and, uh, 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 Storm, yes. And that's that purple. That was purple, dude, yeah, I come said that's on. Purple. But there's another image. It okay. Was, again, looks like a screen image, basically, of um, Psylocke. And is that, um, who's playing Psylocke? Oh, Olivia um, Munn. oh man, I love Olivia Munn. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. But uh, anyway, um, yeah, the the picture no, of no, no, her do, do. in the uh, apocalypse are uh, look, he's blue. There's another picture, and he's definitely yeah, blue. There, there's a, yeah, there is a picture of him, just him and Storm. Oh, what? It might even be the same scene where it's blue. I do see it now. All right, yeah. I gotta, I gotta look at it because the ones I saw was like this guy's like deep yeah, purple. Yeah, they, they are, but oh. they are, they are ripping, they are ripping him. But again. Yeah, <laughs> Uh, again, again, I would I would argue and say let's wait for the movie and see what they finalize on. Yeah, here's, here's the picture. Let me see. Let me see how this looks there. Yeah, it looks blue to me. It's 100. <laughs> and that's a different picture than what I, from what I've seen. And that looks let, good. Let, yeah. Let me ask you this, Gokin, real quick. How do you feel with Brian Singer as director of these X Men movies again? I, I like Days of Future Past. Mm-hmm. I like that one. That was probably my favorite one, and all the other ones sucked before that. And they cleaned up. They, they cleaned it up. So I, I won't make any uh, until I see this new one because I'm, mm -hmm. I'm a little bit excited for it. I won't make any statement. Okay, fair enough. Wow, that's pretty bad. He's more purple than he's supposed to be. Because the thing is, if you look at the apocalypse from like the cartoons. His body armor is like you know mixed with blue and purple. Right. So, again, yeah. again, it could be a lighting thing. It could be a lighting thing yeah. in this particular scene. So we don't know yet. Yeah. So hopefully we'll we'll hear some news about that. So since you already are speaking, Goken, mm -hmm. you give your thoughts of what has been shown at this past at San Diego Comic Con with the movies. I think it's going to be interesting. I think Batman versus Superman is going to suck be just because Superman sucks as a character in movies, video games, and everything life besides comic books. Um, yeah, I don't think it's going to be good. And uh, Wonder Woman, uh, I would go with uh, Shinwara on that. Yeah, she is kind of, she is too small for a yeah. Wonder Woman. Let's see, they're probably trying to put some weight on her for her individual Wonder Woman movie that'll probably mm. be 2017, right? So you can put on some weight. So she doesn't look bad. The face isn't bad for Wonder Woman. She is very pretty. Um, uh, Deadpool is probably going to be like a Wolverine, super goofy. I don't think it's going to be good. Um, 
but Marvel has been on a roll, on a tear these last couple of years with all these movies, so who knows? I could be wrong about that. And that's all I have to say. I'll keep it short. Well, the the thing with Deadpool, that's Fox, though. That's with the uh, the X Men universe. So yeah, I mean, yeah, no, no, no. I know that's what I'm saying. But Mar- uh, you know, Marvel's been on a tear. Oh well, yeah, yeah. You, as a whole, you mean? As gotcha. a whole, they've been on a tear. Yeah. DC's been killed it, killed it with the Batman series, and they're just trying to break into what Marvel has been doing by bringing out the Justice League characters one at a time. So we'll see how they do with Aquaman and and the other two characters. Yeah, I, I just I, think I don't, honestly I don't know. that I just think that uh, I think they're a little bit too late. Um, yeah. I you know uh, you know no let, let me let you finish. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. But, but I just to, you know bring it bring it into gaming just a little bit. What I really want is for her uh, for someone to make. Uh, we need this DC versus Marvel, man. They're matching up these movies. We need a game and and, and just. Let Capcom design a game and give us fucking Marvel versus uh, DC. We want it. You know? Probably ain't gonna happen, but <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying I'm putting it out there in the ether. Damn. All right, and lastly, um, on your knees, what do you think about the upcoming superhero movies that has been leaked um, from San Diego Comic Con this year? Uh, I did like the Deadpool. Um, I, I do appreciate how they're gonna give let it keep an R rating. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't think the fans would have went to it if they had a PG-13 rating. Um, but I did, I did appreciate there was at least one fourth wall joke, but with the uh, with the uh, my costume, don't make it CGI. Mm-hmm. Um, so at least they're going to throw some of that in there. Um, I never really read the comic books, but I understand that's what Deadpool's about. But uh, yeah, they do it right. It's going to be a good movie. Um, the Batman vs Superman. Uh, I think people just want to see the CGI fight between them, t- them two. Uh, that's what the movie's going to be about. So. Uh, if that bombs or going that's to just... suck. <laughs> I, I agree with you, Chris. It's going to suck. You can say well, it. You can say it. I'm giving it a chance because the um, the anime movie did it did it really good. The anime um, the anime movies are always good for DC. Yeah. Yeah, live ac- yeah. Live action was other than Batman, not so much. What do you mean? The Green Arrow was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. I could have this. Um, um, well, we're, I didn't see um, I didn't see the apocalypse, the X Men one, uh-huh. uh, but I am seeing pictures where he's blue, like on the cover of Entertainment Weekly, he is blue. But in this other one, he's purple. So who knows? what the this is probably pre-production. They probably yeah, change the skin lighting. color later on. And it's probably scene lighting. I'm telling you. Mm, it, nah, that not, not that much. Uh, mm-hmm. Well, then again, his whole suit is purple, so that could be it. But. Uh, they also fuck with the colors anyway. That's why a lot of uh, a lot of movies have a lot of orange and blue because they're on the opposite ends of the color spectrum. Mm-hmm. So they purposely make shit orange and blue um, to make them stand out or make it easier to see. Um, so the uh, what was the other two? Uh, Suicide or, Squad. Suicide Squad. It looks good. Uh, the guy does the um, the one version of Joker is more like I guess it's uh, Jared it's, Leto. Yeah, it's not the Heath Ledger Joker, but it's like the um, more maybe more like the comic book Joker. Uh, don't like the tattoos like you guys in the grill, but they're trying to I guess modernize and make it hip for the young youth yeah. these days. So, but they, they did a good job with Harley yeah. Quinn. Um, so hopefully that'll turn out good. Uh, and you got some, and you got Will Smith. Will Smith, uh, as much as I want to hate him, he's a good actor. Yeah. Uh, so he'll do a good job there. And DC's actually doing some good stuff for change. So we'll see what happens. Okay, okay. I would like to make a quick mentioning that Playboy just uh, brought to my attention. Netflix is bringing a Luke Cage series on Netflix? Yeah, you didn't know that? Mm-mm. Yeah, it was part of the, the four. It's Iron Fist, Daredevil, mm-hmm. Jessica Jones, and Luke Cage. And then Iron, in the Fist, end- Iron Fist would be... If they... Man... If they do yeah. Iron Fist right, bro, that that shit is gonna be fucking awesome. Yeah, they That's will like have Iron their... Fist is Marvel's tribute to Bruce Lee. Like people are gonna eat that shit up. They will have their individual uh, Netflix shows, and then in the end, become they'll form the Defenders. Ah, so, yeah. That's interesting. I, I might actually watch that whenever it comes on Netflix. Um, let me give my thoughts real quickly. Batman and Superman movie. I am very against Superman just like everyone else I prefer wow. Batman this is me I grew up on Batman so fuck that Batman. Suicide Squad looks very interesting to me because they're trying to mix a bunch of actors that somewhat do not fit the role 
of the initial characters that they are playing. So I'm kind of interested in how they're actually going to come immense to bringing this movie to something good. So far from what I've seen from the trailer, it just makes it seem like uh, Will Smith is making another Bad Boys movie. That, that's what it looks like to me. It's, just, it's, it's a fucking DC Bad Boys movie. That's what it looks like to me. Um, Deadpool, really excited about because they're letting the Deadpool character finally go off. And, you know, with the jokes, with the fighting, you know, this other crazy shit. Wondering who will make a guest appearance in the Deadpool movie. Will Cable feature in it? Will Wolverine mm. feature in it? Will Rogue be in it? There's a lot of characters that I would like to see. Oh, uh, Colossus was going to be in it. Yeah, yeah I Colossus seen him. is in I've it. I've seen him. But I, think, well, I think Hugh Jackman may do a cameo with Wolverine. Yeah. I'm tired. I'm tired. Can... Listen. Uh, can, I'm sorry. Can I interrupt real quick? I'm so sorry. I just want people to know this. What? Hugh, Hugh Jackman is the worst Wolverine actor, but he is has the perfect face and body for Wolverine. But he does the part such an injustice. I've never. What you mean? None of the, I just want people to know that none of the Wolverine movies were good, although they have the perfect guy. The second one, that second one was good. The Wolverine, I thought that was decent. They have the least. perfect guy that actually looks like a looks like Logan in real life. If you take yeah. like a comic book and you put Hugh Jackman with the fucking hair, he looks just like him in real life. Yeah, like, he, just, he just doesn't do the role any justice. I'm sorry, what? and I just wanted to put that out there. I'm done. So, I mean, he I does, to me, it. he does a pretty decent job. Again, you can't always find like that perfect character in real life to actually full, fulfill their role and what they're supposed to do. I mean, it happens. It's it's never going to be... Hold on. Okay. But um, what was that going on? Yeah, Suicide Squad is looking promising to an extent, but we will see how they take it depending on um, the storyline that they have going for it. Apparently, Batman makes a feature in the movie as well. Yeah. Um, Deadpool is going to be a good movie. Ant-Man, I will see it just to see what the movie is all about. I haven't really gotten into Ant-Man at all. Like, very little bits and pieces that I know mm -hmm. of the superhero. And, yeah, I, I hope that, you know, this will be a good, you know, next few years of uh, comic book movies to come out. And, you know, independent shows on Netflix or Hulu, however you want, want to say it. And, um... Yeah, that's really all I can say about it. It's not really much that we can discuss about it because, again, we still don't know much about these movies that are coming out. It's just like little bits and pieces, and everyone is like making funny ass memes and videos with uh, Shia LaBeouf just saying "do it" in the Superman movie and all this other stuff. So I don't fucking know. <laughs> that's funny. Um, talk about the Black Panther fiasco with Ava. Huh? Oh, the director. She pulled out. What? She, she was the director of Sailor. Yeah, yo, mad people was rooting for her. But I'm going to be honest. I, I love the Marvel movies. And she definitely she would have been a great director. But why would you pick her? And not because she's a female, but she's African American. Why would you pick her to direct Black Panther? I know the reason, but... I wonder why Marvel did that. To mm. connect with that audience? Like, if it, okay, regardless of your color, your skin, or if you're male or female, if you can make a good movie, you can make a good movie. But I feel as though Marvel did that to say, hey, you know what? We have an African American woman to direct an African, <laughs> well, not even American, but an African superhero movie because. Okay, I do believe that she under obviously because she's black, so she would more relate to that audience. But I just thought that was kind of a uh, you know, like, all right, well, you have an Italian movie, you need an Italian director. What? Come on, so like, yo, just anybody, but yeah, she pulled out. That's uh, crazy. it was uh, they had a lot of differences. But that's not the first time Marvel has had issues with directors. The original Ant-Man director pulled out. Mm -mm. Yeah, Ant-Man's Ant apparently going to be a hit. It's already a hit. Yeah, it was already a hit. Yeah, but you know how many rewrites they went through? So many issues. And, I, and look at Josh Whedon. You know what he said about Avengers 2? 
Mm, that is crazy. I yeah, he he's like, listen, the, that movie was running almost three hours, and he does not believe in director's cut. So all that stuff that got cut, that's why the movie jumped from pace to pace to pace. It was good, but it could have been better. In his vision, I would love to. I would have sat through a three-hour version of Avengers 2. But Marvel, in their infinite wisdom, was like, yo, you got to cut it down, blah, blah, blah. That's why it, when you look at the movie, it's incoherent at times. That is very crazy. All right, real quickly, let's move on. Because apparently Playboy wants to discuss his fucking opinion on it. So go right ahead and jump into it. What? You hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. All right. Hey, what's going on, fellas? Hey, what's uh, going on? Hey, boy, what's up? Hey, go ahead, man. Talk, talk about what you want to talk about. <laughs> this, this Black Panther thing really just really stuck to me because I, I never, I didn't follow, like, all the director changes or whatever that, that Marvel and DC have, but apparently she wanted to make the movie a, um, she wanted to make the movie, um, she wanted to make it, um, more like a you know a superhero political thriller with you know mm -hmm. with with Wakanda being you know making their presence felt on the world stage or something something like <coughs> excuse me kind of like James Bondage or something it's really really intellectual I think she wants to and and you know Marvel's like oh fuck this shit we want to bang bang blow them up superheroes fight each other and call it a day so she was like yeah yeah no. And they were like, okay, deuces, mama. So that's, that, that's what's going on with that. So I don't know. I, I sort of I sort of like that um that that perspective because you know, I mean the, the superhero universe is so encompassing. Why not have a political thriller? Something, you know, something to make you like, wow, you know, just to, to connect the dots together. You know what I mean? With Hydra and all this other stuff, you know, all these other secret organizations. I mean, just just to connect the dots. Yeah, no. but you know what, Playboy? I think Marvel was saying that with Captain America: Winter Soldier, that was its political thriller. Now that that was oh, <laughs> come on, come on, we gotta be intellectual here, people. I know you want to be entertained. I understand that, but come on, this is a vast, vast universe. Yeah, yeah, but. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so what do you think about the other movies since you did? Jump oh, in? I that 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 apocalypse that 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 shit straight up garbage. It's garbage. <laughs> <laughs> that, 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 apocalypse is 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 a is, is a thousand feet tall. Why is Storm taller than him? Yeah. No. Well, from what I remember in the comic books, he can grow and he can he, he, he can, can grow he can big. He can height, expand yeah. and shrink. He can he can adjust. So regardless of the size that he's presented, he can he can. Thor should not be towering over him for no reason whatsoever. Again, again, Apocalypse is a god. He's a, he's a mutant god. He can grow as big as he wants. He can grow any part of his body. He can make a. He was actually the the first mutant too. He's right? the first mutant that exists from Egypt. Yeah. Six thousand yeah. years ago. Yeah. First dude, first dude, he had the braids. He still got the braids too. And yeah, they but, kept the braids. You notice they kept the braids in the like head, that, right? Uh, from looking at the pictures, the pictures didn't do it no justice. I, I didn't like those stills. They were, they were, it, it was like someone took them on a cheap cell phone or something and put them on. <laughs> <laughs> that's, probably, that's probably what happened. That's why the lighting was so bad. He's yeah, blue. that's probably why you get that deep purple. He's blue. Ooh. He's not purple. Yeah. And, 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 on, and on to the um, Halle Berry um, as do the Storm standalone. No. No. No oh yeah, she did say that, didn't she? No, yeah. no, no, no. I hated her at Storm. That she did that role awfully. If you want to talk about an awful character, she, no, no. They should, they should have had Angela Bassett do that role. She, she brought nothing to the table for Storm. Nothing. <laughs> no, nothing. Trash nothing. No, 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 mm -mm, no. This, um, this table right now. I would like to see Angela Bassett or Lapita Ngongo as Storm. Sorry, you need someone. No, not not her. No. Mm -mm. Wow. So how about um Suicide Squad? Well, I, I want to see more of uh, Will Smith. I can care less about. It, it's all gonna be about Harle uh, Harlequin and the Joker. It's all gonna and, be about them. You know, the, yeah. other, the other guys gonna be gonna be cannon fodder or whatever. You know, I want to see more about. Deadshot. I want to know more about his story. I don't. I, you know. I. What, what, 
he, he, I just saw like two seconds of him. He was like, Ugh. I'm like, and then, you know, it, 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 it was all Harley and the Joker. It's the whole trailer was all oh, fuck that. No, no. Well, okay, again, not many of the fans know about the other characters within like that realm. The only figureheads that they know is the Joker, Harley Quinn, a little bit of Deadshot, and of course uh, Batman. Who will be you, well, you got Killer Tony. Croc, who I thought his outfit, the the costume looks nice. The Killer Croc, I thought mm -hmm. that was cool. Um, you got Captain Boomerang. I don't know who. I'm not really big on Slipknot. Uh, you got the Japanese chick. I think that was Katana, actually. I think that's Katana. Um, but I don't know. Yeah, we'll see. Well, the, you got... saw the um, you saw the new uh, not trailer, the new um, pictures from the new season of uh, Daredevil on Netflix. I'm saying right now, yeah. Netflix, Netflix is coming for DC's ads right now. They coming <laughs> for their ads. They coming for their ads. Cause that, I mean, that first season of um, of um, Daredevil. Of Daredevil. Daredevil was off the chain. I'm sorry. Yeah, Adam Gal. See, that's my girl right there. I don't care what the fuck you say. I love me some Madam Gal. I love her. She was, I mean, I was like, what? It was the, it was the 11th episode. Mm -hmm. And she whooped his ass. The only two moves. And I said, you know what? I, 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 I yeah, I'm, I'm hooked now. Because I, really, I, really, I really didn't like Daredevil. I mean, I, but from the movies and, or Electra and all that old crazy mess. Yeah, but yeah. This right here on Netflix. I'm saying Netflix is coming for your ass. I'm telling you, man. <laughs> Yo, step and, your and game up. Step your game up. You know, real, step your game up. Yeah, real yeah. quick, now that you mentioned Daredevil, and we know Ben Affleck played Daredevil. I don't know if you guys saw the panel, but did you see his demeanor when he came out and we when he was up there? You could tell that that ain't that pending divorce is yo, yo oh, I don't yeah. know if you Yeah. Yo, yeah. he just he had that somber look. He smiled a couple times, but for the most part, you could tell that thing is eating him up, man. And I really felt for the guy, yo. I really felt for him up there. Like, think about it. You got to go out here and promote this movie. And, you know what I'm saying, in the back of your mind, like, Dad, yeah, I lost my wife. Um, you know what I'm saying? I'm going through this divorce, but, you know, still got to smile. Yo, Ben Affleck, and, yo, you can see that joint on his face, yo. Uh, I have a question. Are they still moving with... Uh uh, Channing Tatum as Gambit doing his movie. Yeah, yeah. Mm, oh, he was God. he was there. I don't. Yeah, I know. I know. Oh, I don't God. know how I feel so, about so that. Gambit is um. Never mind. You can't say that nowadays. Never mind. Damn. <laughs> might as well say it now. Fuck it. No, it might be. Oh, Magic Mike. You know, shake my ass. You know. Uh, oh. <laughs> I don't know. They say he's been working on the accent. I don't know. On the accent? Why don't you just fucking hire the guy who's been, um... He's been on Facebook quite a few times. Like, he knows how to use, like, a staff. And he was like, yo, I should be, you know, the lead actor for Gambit. Like, he knows how to fucking play the role. The only thing you gotta do no, is just give no, him... No, because the way with Channing Tatum and Magic Mike XXL, they, they, they're trying to get women in those damn seats. That's all it is. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, that's uh, all it. That's all it is. They, they, at this point, at this point in the game, they they, they don't care. They, they women love Channing Tatum. What a boy, what a fuck he, You know, he he kind of reminds me. He kind of reminds you know, because um, a lot of my female relatives they love him because he reminds he reminds them of uh, uh what's that singer John B from back in the day. Oh, yeah. oh God. Yeah, and he grew up crazy. in the South too. So yeah, yeah. So and and plus and plus he's kind of you know. Fruity fruity anyway, so so it's gonna get women and women and sheep and 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 dudes and sheep, whatever you know. Dang. I'm, uh, look, look, we all grown. I'm telling you the truth. This, you know, this is this is what this is what the executives at these movie theaters at these movie um studios are thinking. No, you I know. got you. Trust me, I know. Yeah. So you know, hey, that's not you know, hey, I'm just I'm just keeping it real, bro. Keeping it real. That you know. is something. No. Okay. It, I, Come on. <laughs> um, all right. So now let me ask you this: since we're talking about the topic of like San Diego Comic Con and stuff like that, mm -hmm. what do you guys think about the um, the possible um, mini series that they're going to be doing with Batman and the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Oh, you know, I saw that. Hey, if it works out well, imagine that Batman versus the Foot, yo, Batman versus Shredder. 
I put my money on Shredder. Fuck the dumb shit. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Okay. Nah, I, I, I thought that right crossover is gonna be nice. I know they're doing Green Lantern and Star Trek. Are they, uh, are, they doing, what? are they doing? Are they doing John Stewart or Hal Jordan? Hal Jordan. Yeah, and you know why they're doing that? Here, no, here's the thing. The, the reason, huh? <laughs> no, wait, wait. The, no, the reason they're doing that is the rumor is going around when the new Green Lantern movie comes out. It's supposed to be Green Lantern. Uh, was it Green Lantern Core? It's supposed to be Chris Pine, who is um, what's his name? John Luke Picard in Star Trek, supposed to be playing Hal Jordan, and we all know Tyrese. Gibson is trying to push for John Stewart. So when they showed that on the panel, they got they got John Luke Picard with Chris Pine's face, and it's uh slashed between Hal Jordan. So they, that's what they're trying to push. So Chris uh, Pine is supposed to be the new Hal I, Jordan. That's I the am rumor. This a fucking Hal Jordan because you you can say what you want to say, you know, about Cannon and you no, know, he was the first blah 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 blah. But People know um, John Stewart as the Green Lantern. So, well, and, and, yeah, but you know that was that was the, the Justice let's, League let's, cartoon. Let's, let's put it out there in the ether. Let's put it out there. No, no one. Was, and the first Green Lantern movie was a fucking disaster. Yeah, it was. It, it was. was. The, and, and 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 to go back and do it, it, it says a lot about these studios. You know, it says a lot about. Where they, where, where, what, what they're thinking about where their minds are at. I hate to get all but, but, but no, but real quick, no, you're right, Playboy. They said that for the new reboot, it's supposed to be nothing but Earth Earth Green Lanterns. So you got Hal, John, um, Guy Gardner, and uh, what's the other one? Uh, what's the other Kyle, uh, Kyle Rayner. Yeah. Kyle Rayner. It's supposed to be just about the Green Lanterns on Earth because the problem with the first movie, dog, you introduced the whole entire Green Lantern core in the same movie. Yeah. That's yep. too much. Yep. yep. Way and, too much. And and also, um, oh, uh, yeah, Rumor Mill has it that Netflix, again, they're coming for your ass. They're doing a Cloak and Dagger series as well. Really? That's in, the best, that's in development. They, they're, they're writing Cloak a script and Cloak and Dagger. Dagger. Yeah, that they're street, they're street level heroes. Yeah. Wow. Oh, oh, and the Blade reboot. They, Wesley Snipes is, is talking to Marvel about bringing back Blade. That's, that's yeah, funny. and and it's funny that that's good. That's he, good news. He, that, that's he good did news. meet with them, man. And then the reboot in the comics is supposed to be a female Blade. And he's supposed to be the daughter. I said, come on, yo. That's man. that's a bit much. Man, oh, Blade, and, one, Blade one and two was my. I mean, he. he yo, Blade, no, to be honest with you, Blade Blade was what put Marvel on the map. Yeah, back in let me tell you, let's 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 keep it real. Back in nineteen ninety eight. Let me Blade, tell you, yeah. people will not admit it, but Blade was the start for the comic book movies. Yes, yes, it was. It was. Yes, it Blade was. one. Yes, yes, it was. Blade one. Yes, it was back in nineteen ninety eight because. Yeah. Because at because later that later that year here comes here comes this movie called X Men. Yep. But Blade, it was X Men, but, Spider Man. Yep. 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 But Blade was rated R. Blade. Yeah. Remember Blade was rated R. All the Blade movies were rated R. Remember yeah. That? And you know what? That was New Line Cinema that had that too. Yeah. Yeah. New Line Cinema had that. And also, they need to bring back Spawn. They need that. They 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 they've been trying to bring back Spawn. <laughs> I don't I know. Like, I like fun. I don't don't know. That the, the, the first it, movie. Yeah, the first no, movie. I'm talking about, no, I know the first movie was just garbage. I understand that John Leguizamo and everything, and <laughs> I, I don't like, you know, but I, I understand. I understand. But damn it, bring back fun. I'm saying that he. Oh, and, and Marvel, just, where are you? Yeah, and just to go back to what Nelson was saying with the uh, the the Batman and Turtles, they're also coming out with Street Fighter Cross uh, GI Joe, and it's supposed to be M Bison, Shadow Lou, supposed to team up with uh, Cobra to take over the world. So that's supposed to be crazy too. That's M Bison will, 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 will fucking bend Duke over and Does, G <laughs> Does GI Joe even have enough characters for a Street Fighter crossover? Yeah, yeah I heard it's yeah, supposed to be do. Storm Shadow versus Vega. It's supposed to be some crazy stuff, man. They do. They got, uh, oh my god. 
Wow. I, thank you for come bring, bringing me on, Nelson. I, I, I didn't mean to take over the, the podcast like this, but I did. Some of this stuff has just been on my mind for days now. It, it's fine. It's not a big deal, man. Not a big deal. All right. Does anyone else have anything else to say? Because this topic just went an extra 15 minutes. So anything else? All right. So that will conclude this uh, segment of, um, you know, future movies that are to be coming out and also uh, future uh, feature crossovers from uh, the comics. So please like, rate, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Also, thank you guys on Twitch for watching. We have about seven viewers now, which is pretty awesome. And we're going to go right into the next topic after I make like the little cuts and stuff like that. So please stay tuned for you live viewers. For you guys on YouTube, we'll be right back.